the Vikings season over, new coach in place, what now? One of the 50 greatest weighs in. The Swarm back, their star player joins us to set the season. And there's a new team in town, and their soccer standout introduces us. It's all next. It's game on. I think it was a great hire because of the history that he has with this team. I think it was a great hire because of the, the background that he has as a football player, also as a coach, his learning background, his, um, what is the word I'm looking for, his pedigree, so to speak. And once again, a very good Sunday to you. Happy New Year. I'm Rod Simons. This is Game On, powered by Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Delighted you are with us. And yes, the playoffs start without the Minnesota Vikings. Kind of a weird feeling, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. The playoffs actually starting without the Vikings. The Vikings turning a new page, bringing their eighth head coach into service. That's Leslie Frazier. We'll talk about that. There's new hope, but there are a lot of questions, and that's what we're breaking down as we get rolling on Game On. Looking at it by the numbers, the Vikings season ends at six wins and ten losses. Last in the division for the first time since 1990. Vikings will end up 15th out of 16 NFC teams in points scored. A far, far different team than a season ago. As we all know, Vikings will pick 12th in the NFL draft on April 28th. Vikings will potentially have 18, 18 free agents. And the Super Bowl will be played in Dallas February 6th. Those are the numbers here to help us break it down on Game On, powered by Courtside Bar and Grill, number 41. One of the 50 greatest Minnesota Vikings, Dave Osborne. Great to have you here. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Thank you very much. And before we start talking about the, the team at hand, just a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about the 50 greatest. You were named to the team. You're wearing the, the gorgeous throwback jersey that is yours. What is it like to be a member of one of the most distinguished groups of Minnesota Vikings? Well, you know, it's quite an honor to, you know, to remember someone. I came 40 years ago when I, my first year was 1965. And to be remembered as one of the 50 top players for the Vikings, it's quite an honor because, you know, playing that long ago, I kind of thought maybe people forgot about us, but apparently they haven't. And, uh, you know, the older you get, uh, I think the more, more it means to you. Yeah. They have something like, like that happen, so we're, we're, we're satisfied. How can they forget about you? You guys were the only ones that got to the Super Bowl, for Pete's sake. So you were on three of the four and nine playoff appearances. You know what it's like to be a big-time Viking. That's right. We uh, we expected to be there every year. I mean, you know, fortunately, out of the, the 12 years I played, I think uh, nine of the years, something like that, we were in the playoffs and uh, in the Super Bowl and so forth. So we expected to be there every year that we went in. You know, we played with the same players, too, pretty much a lot yeah. of years. That was really before free agency, too. That's right. You couldn't leave if you wanted to. You were pretty much locked into a team. Back in my days, if you wanted to leave a team, you had to set out a year and not even play. Oh, my goodness. Looking at the team at hand, if you will, uh, these Vikings, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit. But first, got to start with Leslie Frazier, a, a hire that you think was a good move. Well, I think so. You know, I have never met Leslie, but listen to him uh, speak at the uh, at that program and the 50 greatest uh, players that night he he had t talked and I was very impressed and to hear him on on TV you know he's he reminds me a lot of Bud Grant and, and that's good he's a, kind of a soft spoken guy I think he he's a he'll he'll do very well because I think the players like him the players respect him and I think they'll work hard for him and I think he's the type of guy that's not going to ask the pe players to do things they're not capable of doing interesting let's look at the Frazier file part 1 of 2 uh, breaking down Leslie Frazier, he's 51 years old. He played for the Bears in 1981 through 85. He's had five coaching stops, one major stop in college, and four assistant positions in the NFL. And he's the eighth head coach in Vikings history. One of the things that that I find striking is that you say he reminds you of a lot of Bud Grant. That's very high praise. You bet it is. Uh, you know, there's not many Bud Grants around, and we just hope that he can go on and have the career and success that Bud had. What is it about him, though? Is it the way he carries himself? Uh, we haven't seen a lot of what he does on the field yet. Well, you know what I think? The guy's been there. He's done that. He's a player. You know, he played on teams. He played on Super Bowl team. He's coached on Super Bowl teams. You know, he knows what it takes to be there. And I think, you know, you have to be a player to really understand what the players are going through. And that, that's why I think uh, he knows how to treat players, how to get their respect. And that's why I think he'll do well. Just because there's a, a few decades difference doesn't matter. Uh, if you've been there, done that, as you mentioned, as a player, it, it, it all is pretty much the same. That's exactly right. Uh, not, time doesn't change that. Right. And so Leslie Frazier has been there. And more about Leslie Frazier with number 41 in just a moment. Don't forget, if you would like to watch one of our live tapings, meet our Vikings firsthand, and as well as many of the other guests that we have, 
We'd love to have you with us here at the Courtside Bar and Grill. Tapings are every Tuesday. Come be a part of it. Big stuff in Anoka. Autographs, free tickets, great food, big screens and darts, you name it. It's all here. It's game on at the Courtside Bar and Grill. Looking for a great night out on the town without breaking your budget? Then take advantage of the Wolves meal deal. For just $19, you get a $20 game ticket, hot dog, chips, and a Pepsi. The meal deal is available for Friday and Saturday night home games, including Saturday's matchup against the Eastern Conference Powerhouse Orlando Magic. Log on to TimberWolves.com slash meal deal to get yours today. Everything that goes into a Linux system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity, or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half of your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Linux. Innovation never felt so good. Get ready to enter the hive. Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm Lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. Frazier's an old school guy. Uh, he's the kind of the guy that uh, came from the old school NFL. You know, uh, he has the respect of the players, and uh, he's going to be good for the organization. I think. Welcome back. It's game on. Powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us on this Sunday. Too bad the Vikings are not in the playoffs. You know who this is? One of the 50 greatest Vikings, Dave Osborne. And great to have him in the house. We were talking during that commercial break about football and what we like to watch on TV. His wife, Bev, is as big a sports fan as my wife, Pam, is. And so when I was talking to him about what is the biggest Viking need, she quickly chimed in. She, she said defensive back before quarterbacks. What do you think? Well, I'm definitely right. Uh, you know, you've got to stop the other team from scoring. They, yeah. You know, and it's a passing game nowadays, so you've got to have good cornerbacks back there. And I think we got a lot of guys hurt, and we're, we're a little weak at the corners. And I think that's the first spot we got to go to try to shore things up other than maybe get a quarterback. Oh. Another quarterback too. My thought is, and far be it for me to try to tell you what the Vikings need, I think we need two quarterbacks because uh, it's weak there. Without a doubt, you know, with injuries nowadays, these guys are big and strong and fast. Quarterbacks get hurt, you know, and uh, you've got to have a two quarterbacks to play, you know. Uh, Joe Webb, maybe he's the guy that can do the job, but one guy is not enough. And he you really know. hasn't answered the critics. No, yet. no, he really hasn't. The school's still out uh, on Joe. We don't know for sure what, what he can do. Hopefully he's quick, he's fast, he can run, he's got a strong arm. Uh, hopefully he's, he's the guy that we can build around. Yeah. But we have to have someone else in the wings also, and it's always nice to have an experienced guy in the wings, someone that can step in, you know, when, when you need it. You know, quarterback's so important. It's like you know, if you a goalie on a hockey team oh. or a baseball pitcher, yeah. you know, if you throw all, throw all strikes, you win the game. And some will tell you it's the most important position in sports. Uh, in looking back at that Frazier file real quickly, when we talk about Leslie Frazier being a player's coach, there's a lot there. He wants to have, he'll actually have shared responsibility on the 53-man roster. He's going to adjust the offense to suit its players. He wants a run-first offense, and he wants all on-board workouts leading into camp. That means everybody shows up not to stay in one state while everybody else works out, and I'm not pointing any fingers. No, no. You know, when we look back at this, you, you're you nodding because you like that. You said that's another thing that Bud Grant did, adjusting the offense. Well, that's right. You know, Bud always said, I'm not going to ask my players to do something that they're capable of doing. I mean, you know, I played for 12 years. Did you ever see me throw a halfback pass? No, because I can't throw. And so Bud never asked me to throw one. Yeah. Did you ever see Bill Brown throw? No, but Bill couldn't throw either. What we could do, though, we could run over you, and that's yeah. what he asked us to do. Tack, off tackle right, off tackle left, round left end, round right end, and that's what we could do, and that's what he just said, let's do what we do best. Yeah. And we don't care if they know what we're going to run. Stop us. Yeah. You know, and, and that's what you need to do. Build your offense around the personnel you have. 18 free agents is a lot of players to lose, potentially. And there's a Lieber in there. There's a, a Greenway. There's some very, very, a Longwell. There's some big-time players that they could lose. But, you know, I think... A lot of those players want to stay here. 
you know, money really talks nowadays in pro sports, but I think the players want to be here. You know, and I think uh, the owner wants to keep them here. And I think they're going to do their best to keep, there's some holes we have to fill, there's no doubt about that. And we're going to lose a few players. But you know, I think we've got some good people. Yeah. We got some good people and some talented people. You know, it didn't look like it this year, but those people are still, a lot of them are just as good this year as they were last year. You know, that purple looks better on you every single day. It's got to feel good still after all these years to be oh, yeah. a member of that fraternity. Yeah, you know, we're, we're proud to, of the fact that the guys that I played with and the guys who were at that ceremony the last week, I mean, and we're all proud of what we've done. We're proud of what we accomplished over the years, having the, the, the goodest teams we had that many years in a row and being in that many playoff games and going to that many Super Bowls. Uh, you know, I don't think it'll ever be matched. Yeah. The pride of North Dakota is sitting with us, number 41. Thank you for being here. Thank you very Always much. Always an you. honor to have you here. Thank you. And if you want the latest information, don't forget, you can go to our redesigned website. It's out there for you. It's GameOnTVMN.com, packed with the best blogs, Brandon on Baseball, the boss on MMA, our kid on campus. We have extensive reach with the Vikings because we team up with our partner fan site, PurplePride.org, best in the business. Check us out. It's GameOnTVMN.com. Walling Berg and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling Berg and Deebly is there. Walling Berg and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. The place for food, music, fun, and bikers. Bikers get the best parking spot, and inside, from business people to bikers, everyone's going to have a great time. Create your own bucket list at the River City Saloon. There are specials every night of the week and live music all weekend. Get us online at hollysrivercitysaloon.com. And look for the awning just off Main and Anoka, right in the heart of the historic Anoka Entertainment District. See you soon at the River City Saloon. I think he's a great football mind. You know, he's got a proven defense, and I think he's going to do great things for us. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by the Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Great to have you with us. I'm Rod Simons. This is Callum Crawford of The Swarm. If you haven't heard his name, you will be hearing a lot because he's one of the most prolific scorers in lacrosse, and he's here with us. Great to have you on board. Thanks for having me. When we talk about The Swarm, it's a team that was 5-11 and 11 last year, lost a lot of close games, and if there was priority one for you guys this year, it'd be turning that around, right? Definitely. You know, last year there's a lot of heartbreakers, uh, a lot of games we were winning within coming into the fourth quarter, yeah. and, uh, you know, we had a lot of one-goal losses, which, you know, could go either way. We flipped those around, and we've got, you know, probably the top top team in the league, so hopefully we can do that this year. You're a Canadian guy. Uh, you, you grew up with a little bit of hockey in your blood, but the, lacrosse is your first love. This is a game that moves just as fast as hockey. You cannot be asleep out on the field. No, they say it's the fastest game in two feet, and you know uh, anybody who comes out to see it, they fall in love with it yeah. because of just just that, right? The hitting, the yeah. scoring goes endlessly, and it's just ongoing and ongoing. Not very many stoppage in play. So, what's the key to being one of the top scorers in the league? I think it's just having a great supporting cast with you, having you know the right chemistry with the right guys, and you know I might have a lot of the points associated to me, but we have a great group up there on offense. So you know we all support each other and we all you know add to each other's games and just that alone lets uh, you know a lot of us be at the top of the scoring. One of the things that the, the uh, franchise ownership went out and did over the offseason was went out and got some defensive help for you guys. Yeah they did they went and really uh, got some some tougher tougher players you know as people would say we got probably arguably the toughest guy in the league this year Rory Smith who uh, it will be really exciting for fans because he's a bruiser. Oh he's a bruiser and he can fight. Unbelievable. You know, one of my friends said, because he wants to go to some of the games with me, he says, you know, I like the scoring, I like how fast it is, but I like the fact that these guys mix it up. I didn't know that was 
as prevalent as it is in lacrosse. Yeah, well, it's kind of the same things that attract everybody to hockey, right? It's it's the aggressiveness, you know, the the ever so often you get a good fight and everything, and it's it's fighting with etiquette, so it's nothing too too bad. But it's just something fans love is just once they see it, they fall in love with it, and that's a big part of it. Well, how's a skinny guy like you stay clear of all those fights because you're doing all the scoring for people? I run really really fast. <laughs> is that right? Is that the key? That's the only way I can do it. So what's going to be the key to getting you guys turned around after a five and eleven season? And because obviously you lose to the, to the Washington, uh, the eventual champion from Washington, and that's got to be a driving force too. Yeah, you know, we lost to the champions in the, uh, in, in the first round of the playoffs, and the big thing for us to turn everything around is just to kind of put a complete game together, is to, you know, not, not end it after three or three and a half quarters and just, you know, keeping our foot on the pedal and putting game teams away this year. That's the Wolves song and dance, too, of the NBA team here. They just, yeah. Finishing is some of the hardest things to do in professional sports. It is, and, you know, we had a new group together last year. You know, we could think of excuses all the time, but, you know, this year we've got a year together under our belts, and we're bringing back a lot of the same cast, and, you know, there's no excuses this year. You know, we feel we have the team to do it. So. We'll have you back soon. Thank you very Callum much. Crawford with us. Good luck this uh, season Thank with the Swarm. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Cold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems and got to be the hottest guy, Ziggy Wilf. The Vikings owner does it right, changes team leadership during the season, then hires Leslie Frazier. He's a man who spends to win and is eager to get a stadium for the purple. Ziggy's hot. Wolves are the cold team this week. Yeah, I love this NBA team, but these close losses, as we've been talking about, gets really old. They should have been the team that beat Boston the other night, but indeed they go down again with another really, really close loss. They need to turn those in to wins. That's who's hot and who's cold. Brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. What's your 99? Wendy's new 99 cent everyday value menu now has even more tasty ways to get what you want for 99 cents. My nine for 99. The all-new Bacon 99er with thick Applewood smoked bacon. Or the new Crispy Chicken Caesar Wrap with tender all-white meat chicken. 99. My 99. We got your 99. Now there's nine tasty choices for 99 cents. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Honey, check the baby monitor. She's sleeping. Hey, Papa. What? Sophie? What'd you get mom? For what? For Christmas. Oh, yeah. She wants jewelry from Thurber Jewelers. She wants diamonds. Well, I was kind of thinking. Diamonds! Okay, okay. Shh. Go back to sleep. This year, give her a gift that everyone knows she will love at Thurber Jewelers in Elk River. Welcome back. It's Game On, powered by Courtside Bar and Grill. Great to have you with us. Time to talk about soccer. And there is a new team in town and delighted to have with us. You know this man, Manny Lagos, is with us, as well as Aaron Davidson, the CEO of the new NASL. And Manny, this is exciting news because if people love the Thunder, and many of us did, this will kind of remind them about it, but in a new way. Yeah, you know, the, the team has changed its name to Minnesota Stars, but it keeps the legacy of pro soccer in the state. It's incredibly exciting. You know, I, I'm uh, humbled by what the league is doing in, in this case and, and really telling Minnesota this is a great market, a great community. Soccer is booming, it's growing, and uh, we're just excited, Minnesota, that we're going to continue to be a part of the national game here in, uh, in Minnesota. Now, it was just announced a couple of days ago. It's new stuff. The NASL will be comprised of eight teams, and Aaron's here to tell us that if, if it's a ride down memory lane for you, there's a reason for that, isn't it? Absolutely. Uh, a guy like Manny Lagos involved. I mean, this is a new chapter in soccer in Minnesota, yet it harkens to the glory days of the past, right? The North American Soccer League, the glory days of the 60s and 70s when Pele played and here the Minnesota Kicks 
and to be able to bring back some of the le legacy of that North American Soccer League with still some of the great legacies of Minnesota soccer like Manny Lagos involved. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a new chapter, but it's, a, it's, a, it's definitely a, a tip to the past. Mm -hmm. And I hope, uh, we really hope as a league that Minnesotans uh, embrace the team mm -hmm. and, and start coming back in those numbers they used to come back with. Manny, uh, in terms of games, uh, how many, how long will the season be? What will we see for a playoff format? Yeah, it's going to be a great season. You know, we have 14 home games, 28 overall. Uh, the season starts late April as our first home game is April 30th. Uh, we play at the National Sports Center up in Blaine. It's a great complex. They, re Absolutely. they re redid the entire stadium. It is soccer specific. Those people now that want to have a great soccer experience, uh, you're going to have it within the stadium. And, and the great thing, Rod, is that I can truly say, as I'm one of the product of group, people growing up, is that the product in the field's unbelievable. I mean, we got the stadium, we got the stands, but the product now, you're going to go there and be amazed at how good and high level soccer is, and in the stands, how many people cheer and how good of a time they have. So uh, it goes from April till the end of October. And, uh, you know, we'll see where we end up, but I'm looking forward. I think we had a very competitive team last year, and I think we're just going to build on that. And, Aaron, you say that the playoff format will be rich in tradition. It will be European style. European style, home and away matches against some of the great teams. We're bringing back the Fort Lauderdale Strikers this year mm -hmm. down South Florida. Tampa Bay Rowdies. I love that. And so some of those great names back here and yeah, with the final being home and away. Nice. Players, will you, will there be any kind of a draft? How will you get your players? Yeah, you know, actually right now we currently have 11 players from last year that did a great job for us that, you know, our current fan base love and they wanted back and we respond to them. I think that's going to set the tone for Minnesotans. We're going to have a very competitive team just from them. Uh, in terms of the next couple months, we really have done uh, an extensive scouting over the last couple of months of college, we're heading to the MLS Combine this weekend to scout players. And then after that, there will be a, a league draft where we kind of go through the players that we want. And then over the next two months, we'll be, uh, you'll see a lot of the news of signing some, some good players that we think will add to the team. If people want to get involved, how do they do oh, that? Oh, yeah, you website? go to www.nscminnesota.org, and uh, it's everything's right there. You know, tickets, team, all the information you could ever want. We'll also have the link uh, at our website, gameontvmn.com. Aaron, great to have you with us. Thanks for coming up from Miami. No, thank great, you. great news Thanks, as well as you, Manny. Thank you very, very much. Still more to come. Don't forget, you can keep up with the Wolves as well as the NBA on our weekly blog at Simon Says. Simon Says at Timberwolves.com is part of that great NBA site full of inside information, strong wolf viewpoints, all at your fingertips. It's interactive, so drop me a note. Let me know what you think. Rod at GameOnTVMN.com and look for the new Simon Says blog every Thursday morning. It's at Timberwolves.com. When you need to move around the metro, call on City View White Knight Limousine. They take care of us with town cars, limousines, SUVs. City View is safe, reliable, and they will handle your needs. Get them on the web at cityviewlimo.com. Get ready to enter the hive. Rule number one, always wear a helmet. Rule number two, don't blink. Swarm Lacrosse returns to the XL Energy Center. For tickets, call 1-888-MN-SWARM or visit mnswarm.com. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. So, you're looking for a night out with the guys. Guy stuff, sports, beer, fun. What about catching a Wolves game? The Guys Night Out package gives you a ticket, beer, hot dog, and a chance to meet the Timberwolves dancers all for just 15 bucks. That sounds like guy stuff. Log on to Timberwolves.com to get your tickets today. And it is time for the Mayak Minute back on Game On, powered by Courtside Bar and Grill in Anoka. Great to have Matt Higgins with us. He's the Assistant Executive Director of the Mayak. Thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having us, Rob. Happy New Happy Year. Happy New Year to you. 
you know, one of the, I got to talk to you. The football season was great. The Viking season's over. I'll Absolutely. talk to you about football in just a second. Mm -hmm. But with the Metrodome going down, you guys have been busy. Have you even started rescheduling games? You know, we really haven't just because it's been so new when they made the decision that it's going to be down for months. And wow. uh, I know people immediately think about what that means for the Vikings and for Twins Fest. But um, in the MIAC, we played over 80 baseball games in the Metrodome last year, so our teams can start playing in February and March. And now without that resource, uh, teams are scrambling throughout the conference. Where do you go? It's just going to have to be maybe an extra day on a trip down south here or there, maybe a few extra games on a spring break trip, maybe an extra game uh, in you know each week in April. But I don't know. Everybody's scrambling, and uh, I don't know. I'm sure we'll get it taken care of. Though. Now, it's intense, though, because it's, we're not talking about one or two. We're talking about more than 80. Yeah, over the course of our uh, 12 teams that have baseball, yeah, 80 games total. I'd say most teams play six to eight games in the Metrodome in, in February and March. So um, every, it's, it's something that affected everybody across the conference. I know you guys have been busy at the MIAC, and what a tremendous football season. Oh, it was outstanding. I mean, how many conferences in Division Three in the country can boast sending two teams to the quarterfinals? And Bethel had the, the outstanding win over St. Thomas. And, and what a great day that was for the Mayak in, in Minnesota in a snow-covered field. And, and they went on to face Mount Union, who's a great team in the semifinals. And it was just a perfect way to cap things off for us. When we look at the basketball teams, we often talk about men's, but that St. Benedict's uh, women's basketball team is pretty good. Yeah, I'm sure Mike, Coach Mike Durbin told you a lot about them last week. Yeah. But uh, he's had them rolling. They've, they've kind of been the team in the Mayak over the last six, seven years. And uh, he just gets those kids to play so hard. And, and they've kind of been the class of the conference. But this year, I don't no, I think there's some teams that are looking to give them a run for their money. Awesome. And when we look to the spring, uh, obviously the Metrodome thing will have to be taken care of, but yep. there's some there's going to be some great sports. Oh, we have a lot of great events coming up. We'll, we'll be hosting the swimming and diving championships at the U of M Aquatic Center nice. in February. And uh, then after that, we'll have our basketball championships and hockey championships and roll right into spring. Nice. And we can guarantee that the swimming championships will go on. Hey, that roof looks sturdy to me at the Aquatic Center. Rod. <laughs> great to have you. Great. Thanks for everything you do for us. Even more next week. The Mayak Minute brought to us by Walling, Berg, and Deeply. Time now for the Wheels of Thunder week ahead. Minnesota Timberwolves are busy. On the 11th, 13th, and 15th, they have San Antonio, the best team in the NBA so far by record, the Washington Wizards and the Orlando Magic. The Wild have Colorado on the 14th. The Swarm get Edmonton on the 22nd. Gophers have Purdue on the 13th. Got your itch? Spring training's 43 days away, and the Vikings will training camp 202 days away. And before we go, some final thoughts. Love being here at the Courtside Bar and Grill. And this former Philadelphia Phillies pitcher loves being here. Minnesota boy, Corey Kosick. And what is the art of going from pitching to darts? <laughs> wow. Tough question right off the bat, too. Yeah. Uh, actually, it's just aim it and throw it. Basically, just like pitching in a baseball. And if people want to come here and catch the taping, they can also be a part of some very fun dart action with all the big screens and everything else. You talk firsthand about it. Great, great atmosphere here. Absolutely love it with the TVs, the dart boards. Absolutely phenomenal. Tuesday night darts, Wednesday night darts. Yeah. Do you throw as many strikes here as you did on the baseball field? I cannot say that I do. <laughs> I have to say I like baseball better. Yeah. What's the what's the key to throwing and aiming? I just seeing the point and hitting it. Is that it's right? A, yeah, a lot of fun. Having a lot of fun. Corey, thank you for being with us. Thanks for all your hospitality you. and happy New Year to you. You too. That's it for us. Don't forget you can get game updates and all the show information you want at gameontvmn.com. Our website is renovated and, and fresh for you. So that's it. We'll see you next week right here on Game On.